Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Sabans. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a pretty interesting show. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel. So let me get into this topic uh, here. Um, as you guys know, the playoffs are right around the corner. Well, the play in. And by the way, I can't wait for the playoffs and the play in to start. I recently posted on the channel. Uh, that, um, you know, uh, it looks like there's going to be a part three meeting between the Clippers and the Denver Nuggets in round one. This would be the first time that these teams have met at the third time, excuse me, that these teams have met in the in the first round. Funny enough, uh, because right now, if you look at the standings in the West, you have the Wolves at one tied for the one spot with the Denver Nuggets tied. But the Wolves are one. Nuggets are two. Uh, Thunder are three. Clippers are four. Mavs are five. Uh, Suns are six. Pelicans are seven, Kings are eight, Lakers are nine, Warriors are 10. So those are going to be the 10 teams for sure. All of those teams are locked into the play -in. So the Warriors are going to be locked in, the Lakers are going to be locked in, the Kings are going to be locked in, and the Pelicans are going to be locked in. But I said I felt good about the Clippers playing against the Mavs. And so people are you bugging? Luca going to give him that work? I'm like, nah, I never saw Luca. I saw Luca give Ivica Zubak and Patrick Beverly work. I never seen him give Kawhi Leonard no where I know he shoots like 38% against Kawhi, but they were like, nah, so we talking, you know, doing our normal talk, getting ready, hyping up whoever you support, which I understand I could be wrong, but you could be wrong too. So I guess we got to wait and see, right? So uh, we're doing that. So I came across an article this morning uh, from fadeawayworld.net and had the following headline, Anthony Edwards on LeBron James picking him first in the 2023 All-Star draft, right? And he's in the article goes on to say he's turning into unk. I was like, I'm like, what? Anthony Edwards trying to take little sly shots at LeBron. So that's the article in the comments we want to focus in on. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Price Picks. Price Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats. And then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks. And Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit matchup up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So let me get into the article. It says, uh, it continues on. It says, Anthony Edwards' lighthearted response to LeBron's selecting him as the first pick in the 2023 All-Star Draft reflects both admiration for the NBA superstar and a playful jab at his age. The young Minnesota Timberwolves guard expressed disbelief and excitement in being chosen ahead of the seasoned veterans and fellow All-Stars. He said, oh no, that was crazy. That was crazy he picked me first and he had all the other stars up there. He came in there and was talking some, I'm going to let the young guns do them. Uh, let, let, let the young guns do it. And he goes, he's getting old. He's turning into unk. And he smiles off, right? And then the article then says, in his remarks, Edwards humorously noted LeBron's advanced age, playfully referring to him as unk as a nod to the elder statement role uh, role LeBron has assumed in the league. The term unk is often used colloquially to address an older and respected figure, suggesting a shift in LeBron's status from youthful superstar to seasoned uh, veteran. Now, here's what I think about this. Some people are going to be like, oh, you're reaching for it or whatever. And that's the beauty of the human race. God didn't make all of us the same. So the way you see something is most likely going to be different from the way I see it. There are no two people that are the same. No, there are no two people that are the same. So if you feel that way, fantastic. I'm happy for you. I feel this way. 
I wasn't feeling those comments. The reason I wasn't feeling those comments was because this is not the first time Anthony Edwards has said that. He said that to Paul George, not the, the Clippers. He said that to Kawhi Leonard. He said it to, to, to um now to LeBron James. He's doing it in a laughing way. But if I'm being real with you, you're also trying to play him. Like, let's be for real. If somebody be like, yo, you getting old, you unk now, they trying to play you. They're not saying, oh, you're getting like, oh, wow, you're becoming my uncle. Nah, they're trying to play you. Like, yo, get your old ass up out of here. That's what's really going on. Now, in the case of Anthony Edwards and a lot of people that think like, listen, I know a lot of people that think like that, right? We, you know, we defend Jordan, we defend Kobe and these guys, and we have some younger cats coming on the channel saying, oh, y'all the old heads and da, da, da. I'll be wondering if these dudes is toddlers. I'll be trying to figure it out. Like, I'll be trying to figure out, like, these dudes, toddlers or what? We got 12-year-olds running around in the comment section. I'm trying to figure it out, number one. Number two, they saying that, like, or Anthony Edwards is saying it, like, as if it's supposed to mean a bad thing. LeBron is sitting on a billy, my boy. He's sitting on four rings, four finals MVPs, a gazillion all-star uh, selections, all-star game MVPs, multiple all-NBA selections, multiple all defensive selections led the league in assists what are you sitting on you see it's only funny until they start calling you old you see you can make fun of lebron's age right and say oh he's old but what usually ends up happening is as you get older and you don't accomplish the same things lebron accomplishes nobody's gonna be calling you old they're gonna be calling you a clown that's the difference you see you can make fun of LeBron's age to not address all of the things that he's accomplished, but eventually you're going to get up there and these younger boys are going to be looking at you like, look at this old ass, you know what, get, yo, yo, get up out of here because they won't have any respect for you because you haven't done anything. So if you're going to be talking that talk and laughing that laugh, you better be ready to win five championships because it's easy to talk. Oh, it's easy because when you're young, we've all been there. We all think what we have unlimited time. You think you have all the time in the world, but we don't look at Giannis. Giannis won the championship. I'm sure most people thought, oh, he's going to win another one and then another one, another one. Nobody's looking at the Bucks right now. And Nikola Jokic won last year and he could not win this year. And then it goes on like that. And that's usually how it goes on. So to me, some people may think it's funny. I'm like, instead of saying something like that, be like, man, like you didn't even have to say that he getting old and all that for what that got to do with anything. He's still doing his thing. He's still doing his thing. And if I'm keeping it funky with you anyway, the older dudes are the ones getting it. I'm just keeping it real with you. In any aspect you're thinking of, if you were a young boy watching this, the older dudes is the one, they're the ones winning. And then you have some exceptions to the rule. You have some younger, but most guys in their, most guys in their 40s to 50s are the ones that are really enjoying life in any way you can think of. They got all the money. They got all the honeys. They got all the experience. Not the, they're not checking for that. Not, young, the younger girls ain't even checking for the young dudes because they know they ain't got no money. They ain't got no money. They got no experience. They ain't got nothing to teach them. So you laughing at LeBron, but LeBron is the billionaire. He's the one that they're talking about every single day. And if you're going to be laughing at laugh, you better start winning some rings because it's funny now. It's funny now, but you better start backing that up. So if you're a young cat laughing at older dudes that's getting their paper and they got their money and they got their money right and they're living their best lives, and they're spending twenty, thirty, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars on a vacation with their family every summer. And you're talking about they owe. You better be pulling up too. I better see you on those vacations too. I'm just keeping it real. I don't know when it became to be an older, mature guy that became a bad thing. That should tell you a lot about society. We the ones getting it. I'm thirty. I'm about to turn thirty-seven, and I'm happy as hell. I can't wait till I hit forty because I know there's gonna be some more paper waiting for me. Just keeping it funky with you. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.